I've heard of many very, very impressive preservation projects. Uh, I can remember different companies, BBC, RAI, INA, working with their preservation. But I think, I really think, that the most interesting, impressive, and powerful action done for AV preservation was the series of Presto projects we launched at the end of the 90s, in 1999, and which ended in 2014. During this unique 15 years of research, industrial te development, and new technologies, you really gave a huge kick to the adventure, adventure of digital preservation. Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I really think that contents should be made available as broad as possible. No, because there are, unfortunately, some restrictions, and these restrictions are called rights. Uh, so, just not to say between the two answers, I would say that uh, putting audiovisual in the public domain is a big fight, and it is possible. I know of companies who have put thousands and thousands of videos on, on, online. And with a good negotiation of rights, with good uh, agreements with uh, right owners and right societies, this can be done. It takes time and work as everything, but it is possible. But the main answer to the question is yes. Uh, the citizen paid uh, for the television and radio to develop. It is normal that what they paid for should be given back to them years or days after it was done. Uh, if we talk about uh, analog media, uh, there are three huge categories, video, film and audio. And they all need uh, some kind of preparation because before they can be sent in an industrial approach to digitization. But probably where uh, the most time consuming activity would be the preparation of film for film scanning. This has been really a nightmare since the beginning of all our activities. We even invented a machine for an automatic re-splicing machine, which never really worked because you need a very high level of perfection. So I would say that uh, media preparation is, is really the, the big and expensive task. Uh, I must remind you that to digitize a one hour of film, it may cost uh, 300 euros or 250, the cheapest cost, and it can go up to 3,500 uh, euros for the same kind of material. I'm not speaking of film cinema. So undoubtedly, this is one of the great uh, back uh, kicks of uh, digitization.